Hey folks, Troy Dooley with MLM Help Desk and the Network Marketing Advocates, our brand new membership site where we are constantly focused on giving you the information that you need to run a business successfully. Matter of fact, I've been teaming up with some great leaders who are helping me out over there. Richard Brook, Kevin Thompson, Kevin Grimes of Grimes and Reese. We've got some brand new folks coming on board to, to give you the information that you need to build a successful business. I'm excited about that. Hey, we've teamed up with a brand new company, Best in You. They are going to become a new sponsor for the MLM News Report where we're going to be doing a, a really a success tip every week something about personal development something that's going to benefit you this company is is gosh i guess about two and a half months old now and are really positioning themselves to be the digital company in network marketing similar to what apple's done in the general population the crew over here at best in you is rocking it out and i'm excited about that matter of fact we're going to put a video up here in the blog post that i think you're going to want to watch and the reason being is in march they are launching a new platform to where if you're a coach, if you're a trainer, you're going to be able to create your actual courses that are going to be able to go out to the world. I like what they're doing. This week's tip is on success, but it's really more on personal, personal wealth. Not, not from a financial standpoint, but the real deep worth. Are you really worth having success? You know, I don't think a lot of people realize it's they get excited. They go out there and they, they either launch a business or they, they start a new career but they don't realize that until they change inside, until they get rid of those limiting beliefs that's holding them back, they may not feel worthy of success. I'll tell you what, I, I grew up in a family where my mom and my dad were real motivators, they pushed us, but the, the rest of the family would sit around and say, you're not, you're not supposed to be that way. You're not, you were born on the wrong side of the tracks, or, or worse yet, they'd see the rich folks and they'd say, they probably screwed somebody. So as I started making money, as I started becoming more successful personally, I battled this because I thought, man, I, I shouldn't be that way. I shouldn't live that way. And I realized I had negative people around me. See, if you're living in that negative environment or you have negative people in your life, and I'm not talking about critical thinkers. I'm talking about dull, negative, disillusioned crybabies, whiners. If they're in your life, it's going to hold you back. You've got to start building that self-worth until you change inside of you there's no way that you're going to change outside of you. That's why it's so important what goes in up here because it's going to come out in everything else. You've got to make the change. You've got to dig deep. Look for the help. Go over to Best in You. See the courses that they have available right now. Next week, we're going to be talking about goal setting, and it's going to be interesting. What else is happening out there in the world of network marketing? Plexus uh, Worldwide. You've got uh, Ro uh, Tara Robinson and Alec Clark. They hit the road today. They are traveling all through the South, jamming it out in their new tour. This company, I just came back from uh, Phoenix last week, Scottsdale to be exact. This is their slim product. They also have a, a, a breast self-examination and a breast cream that's been created. They're really focused in on female health and on weight loss. And the thing about this product here, it's great for type 2 diabetics. But they've got some great stuff. We just put up a brand new information piece we got from them because if you're in that company, they're getting ready to, they just launched their brand new, uh, it's a, it's, I don't even know what you want to call I'm going to call it a car program, but it's really an awards program. There's all kinds of stuff that's going to be going on for their convention that's going to be in June. I get to be there, going to be doing a little speaking. I'm excited about that. But this company is young. They grew 1,400% last year, and nobody's even heard of them. That's the great thing about it. you got to go check them out. Other great things, Isogenics. I'm wearing their colors today. This company, 10 years old did 260 plus million dollars in revenue last year are going to be on TLC tomorrow on the Mary Lou Henner show. I, I'm, I'm, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little bit of, a, of a, a teaser up over on the blog where you can see because one of the three gals that they're going to have on here isn't your, your typical hottie. Ladies, please forgive me, but she's, she, she wasn't that sexy, vamboyant, bodybuilder, model, the type of people that you look at on Oxygen Magazine or Fitness for Women, you think, yeah, she probably didn't lose but two pounds. Here's a young lady who tried 20 times, and every time she'd try a new system, she'd get bigger and bigger. It bothered her. Her husband just loved her to death. But one day, her kids came home and said, Mommy, are we going to be fat like you? That was the moment when she knew she had to change something. 
she, she she's found the isogenics community and it's a true community this company started out uh, what we used to call inside the profession is the cleanse company I mean they were focused and now they've taken this and they've morphed it and they've tweaked it and they've put something together that is unbelievable I don't care if you're trying to 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 lose and maintain and change your lifestyle or if you're trying to put on lean mass this is a system they have something for everybody and I tell you what their little chocolate wafers should be used in all the churches in place of the crackers that taste so bad during communion I mean these things are great it's wonderful not making light of it just saying it's it's a crazy time I want to talk about uh, momentous this is the energy company they're owned by just energy out of Canada and they are starting to really really come on strong we've been studying the the energy sector talked with Kevin Grimes this week he sent me over some stuff we're gonna be putting up on a single report that shows how some of the different states have already done what I thought they would do they went after the in the energy companies but yet the energy companies are coming on and they're saying let's get into compliance let's get our, our reps taken care of so we don't have problems I love that what I really love about momentous is the fact that their chairman is a female and if you guys know, if you've studied anything that I've written, anything that I've said, companies led by women have a, a better attrition, they hold on to it better, and they don't get in lawsuits like some of the companies run by us, uh, uh, us male chauvinist men. You know, I mean, we get out there and we get competitive. Women have a way of being competitive, but making it happen. I love what I'm seeing over there. Vima just got a report in. We're going to put this up over on the blog, but this, this will go you'll be blown away on this listen BK last night shot this over to me what took them 18 months to accomplish with verve penetrating the colleges penetrating the market you as you guys know if you follow this it's like number seven in the world in sales is their energy drink verve it's nailed all the universities they just did this in about eight weeks with body their new weight loss healthy formula okay literally they had such an onslaught of sales that they they they're trying to pump and get the volume back up in in inventory because they went through all that product and I tell you what that's hard to do when you're when you're a guy like BK because I mean he's a forward thinker he really has a great team around him and they work on this this is I tell you what hats off to the field force because it's not just that internal consumption of distributors saying hey I want to try this I've I've seen some of the personal videos that have been created it, it it isn't about Chris and Heidi Powell this is about getting the product in the hands of people that need it and I gotta tell you BK's done one thing that I think other companies should really watch and look at he has embraced a second generation of network marketers we call them the Millennials when you look at Tom Alcazin and you look at at Ruth Elliott and you look at all these top leaders that he has start looking at their kids and seeing what their kids are doing Brad Alcazin is blowing it like crazy. I mean, what those guys are doing in universities, he, he just tagged his own people and said, look, let's, let's get on the smartphone, let's do it. Yes, am I proud of Vima? Absolutely. Love these guys. I haven't even tried the product. Well, I take that back. I tried the product last week when I was in the office, checked it out. Wonderful. But I haven't even gotten on the system. I'm telling you, this is going to be great to see. Great stuff going out. Other stuff that's going on, and this is a big one here that I want people to listen up to. The FTC has has finalized the business opportunity rule it's gonna go live in March the network marketing community rallied together I think over 17,000 of us commented and sent comments in and explained why network marketing needed to be exempt from some of the regulations that's there because the disclosures and stuff that we would have had to have supplied to the companies that the companies would have had to have supplied to us it would have been overwhelming for the most part plus it, it kind of put it kind of put our women at risk for privacy issues because 80 percent of our industry plus is made up of females so we battled this we fought it and I, I've got to say I'm, I'm glad to see that the direct selling companies okay get the companies are exempt now <clears throat> some of the attorneys may be saying now Troy where are you going with this because we were protecting our distributors absolutely don't have a problem with that you did a phenomenal job guys but as I read through this 50 page report and, and Kevin Grimes is gonna send me over some stuff because we talked about this yesterday something kept going in the back of my mind and here's what I've, I've put and we're gonna put a full report up on this but here's what you as a distributor need to look at in this it doesn't exempt you and your personal marketing 
if you're out there and you've got a landing page, you've got an online system, you're a lead vendor or you're a system provider, and you put up one little bitty thing that says, can earn up to $10,000 a month. Just that, can earn up to, not that they will earn up to, but that they can earn up to. You now fall underneath the business opportunity rule. How many lead generation companies, listen to me guys, I've been in this business for a long time. How many of us create marketing and we put it out there on the internet, Craigslist, anywhere else, that talks about how much money can you earn? Let's talk about Craigslist for a second. If you're a distributor and you're putting ads up at Craigslist and it looks like it's a job, when in reality it's a business opportunity, you personally can be at risk. The direct selling companies exempt. This is your individual marketing. Now, CEOs, founders of companies, I would strongly suggest you get with your attorneys, but I would at least get something put in the policies and procedures that make it very clear that distributors need to adhere to the FTC business opportunity rule. This is huge. Plus, if you're an internet marketer, you fall underneath the advertising and marketing rules. We're putting all this up because we have to make sure that we're educated and knowing how to do this within the compliance regulations. This is big, 50 pages right now, but we're gonna put all this up in a post. Where you'll, be, you'll be able to see it. We'll end up linking it back over to this newscast in the next few hours, but I wanna get the news report out because I want people to start thinking about this. Very important. Great things are happening all over the profession. Uh, you cannot go wrong have, have a new uh, excitement next week, gonna be out in the field, video it at some of the great leaders that are out there, and also, I'm starting to get more phone calls from equity firms on Wall Street who are saying, hey, this publicly traded company now has entered into the channel, we wanna to talk to you about it. Guys, the eyeballs are on us, we have to work with authentic collaboration and raise the standard of excellence. It's the only way we're all gonna be able to make it. Live life like it's an epic adventure. I'll see you at the top. Be with me this next week on Real Mentors Radio as we focus in on the book Resolved by Orrin Woodward. This is 13 resolutions that can help your life. It's great. I don't care if you know who Orrin is or not. This book is worth listening and reading and, and really studying because it's about many, I mean many different top leaders throughout history. You'll love it. See you next week.